Hello everybody, this is Little Galar coming to you live. Now, we're going to talk about cockatoos. We've got two lovely birds here. This one's Chuckles. This one over here is Boy. Oh yeah? These two you normally don't see at the same time on video because they do fight, both being males. That's so big. Now, one of the important things you've got to learn when training your cockatoo, you give it rewards when it does right. You don't punish it when it does wrong because they are intelligent, but they don't understand when people do. Now, they like being patted. They like little tickles under the chin. They love it under the wing. This one doesn't so much, the other one does. But at the end of the day, if the bird's untrainable, now, boy here is a very, very intelligent, smart bird. Chuckles here, on the other hand, is a bit of an idiot. So, what do you do with an idiotic bird? There's only one, one, one thing you can do. You take it, you put it down here, like this, then you teach it a lesson. That's one fixed! The other one. <laughs> We're having cockatoo tonight. <laughs> tonight, my children, we are going to do stuffed roasted cockatoo. I cannot deep fry it due to copyright issues. However, we cannot let this go to waste and I'm going to stuff them. Now, they, these are the ingredients that you need. You need your cockatoos. Uh, first off, you need to chop the necks off. Okay, chop their necks off and make sure you trim any bits of feathers. See, there's a little bit of feather here. I'm just going to trim that off. Careful not to stuff my fingers. There's one feather. And if we can get the other feather off. Okay, so that's away. And make sure it's on the other side of the wings on the wing as well. Just pluck that off. And check the other one for feathers. There's one feather there. And make sure they're all tidied up. Now for the secret stuffing. Once you have your cockatoo, now is the time to stuff them. The ingredients you'll need to stuff your cockatoos are you need some stuffing mix and good old vodka. Now, the quantities are one cup of stuffing mix to half a cup of vodka. As you can see, I have only got half a cup left after tasting as much as I could beforehand in my bloody berries. Let's start, shall we? So, let's start the stuffing. Here is my vodka and I'm going to put one cup in ever so slowly because you've got to mix as you go. Just to start mixing it. Keep, oh shit, make a mess everywhere, keep adding, keep mixing, keep adding more. I prefer to do my stuffing this way so I have more control over it. So you've got something that looks like this. Maybe you could use breadcrumbs. And and I put a little bit of Tabasco sauce. 
One drop, my loves. Oh, yeah, one drop. Oh, maybe. Oh! That's one drop. In the dead on none terms. So. Just mix. And then stuff. Stuff your cockatoo. I usually place the cockatoo upside down and shove its hand up its clacker. As you can see, the cockatoos do not mind because they're headless. So they don't feel any pain, my children, of a hand being stuffed up one's clacker. must be really, really a good feeling. It feels like probably you're a customs officer. You can do an internal examination with no guilt. So, stuff your cockatoos right up where they can never be stuffed in their lives. And if you can, close its clacker. But for these, my beautiful pets, it feels so invigorating. I still feel their souls. Now, the cockatoos are stuffed. Once you have stuffed your cockatoo, now it is time to place it onto the rotisserie. As you can see, it is nice and plump, full of stuffing. And then I will place it onto my spikes of the rotisserie. And as you can see, it is still fighting. Once I have placed it on the rotisserie spikes, I will now place it into the, into the Jedi rotisserie. Now we place into our rotisserie. No cockatoos were hurt, killed or eaten making this video.